Jesse, the Chase, and Frenzy, and maybe Hazy will join us. She's behind the camera right now. We're going to talk about regional breed clubs and why they're important. What's important about, uh, what, well, first of all, what are they and why they're important? Frenzy, you're getting awful close and personal. <laughs> so every region in the country has a breed club for their breed. Now, some are larger regions that include multiple states because there's not very many active folks that are in that breed in that area. Some are very active. There's a few clubs in one state. Um, so it just really depends on the area, it depends on where, where your breed is. Like Bernie's Mountain Dogs, we don't have a ton of clubs in the southeast um, or, or just south because it's so hot. You don't have a ton of burner owners that live down there. So it really depends on the clubs. It depends on a lot of people and the breed. Some breeds are more rare and they don't have as many people in that have those dogs. So it's a little different process. Um, and a lot of people can have to go kind of a little bit further out to find other owners of their breed. With Bernese Mountain Dogs, we've got quite a few regional clubs. You can go, you can find your regional club by going to your national club website. So for Bernese Mountain Dogs, it's bmdca.org and you go to the menu item on the tab on the left that says regional clubs and it clicks open to a map that shows you the United States and where all different color codes of what your zone or your regional club is and there's sometimes there's many clubs you can reach out to. Well, a regional club is very different from a Facebook meetup group or a website listing for breeders. It's actually an AKC sanctioned club um, diff there's different levels of sanctions, but it's recognized by AKC, recognized by the National Breed Club, and it has a board of directors, it has uh, the structure to it, it has a code of conduct, bylaws, so there's structure to it. So there's some level of understanding of the quality of the breeders that you find through Regional Club, which is why in all my other videos I recommend going through your Regional Club to find breeders because those breeders sign code of conduct. So there's a level of quality and attention to health and the breed standard and preserving the breed um, as a preservation breeder breeding for health. So with, within a regional club, it's only as good as the volunteers. So I get it, I know that you know sometimes volunteers are, are challenging, uh, people only do as good as they can do and so uh, there are different struggles within different clubs, but overarching, they're a good place to meet reputable breeders, breeders that know the breed inside and out, can help with a lot of questions that a lot, I see a lot of people turn to Facebook groups to ask questions and they're getting answers from to every Tom, Dick, and Harry. When you join a regional club, you will get the uh, expertise of folks like myself who've been breeding for a long time, have had the breed for a long time, and I'm a subject matter expert in Bernese Mountain Dogs. So you'll find people within your dog breed that are subject matter experts that would be happy to help you. Hey Chase, come here. Would be happy to help you in answering any questions about the breed and uh, and help you out with training, feeding, Healthcare, it's a great place to find networks for who the best vets are for your breed. So this breed, my breed has a lot of challenges and so we, we find vets that understand our breed and know how to work within this breed because it's very different treating a Bernese Mountain Dog than treating a Poodle or treating a Yorkshire Terrier. So it's, it's being able to be part of a group of subject matter experts that have known this, that know this breed, that breed for health uh, and the standard and have a reasonable uh, dedication to the breed and bettering the breed, not just breeding to make money. They actually really care about the dogs and the breed that they're breeding. How these differ from Facebook meetup groups and Facebook groups, in fact, a lot of um, regional club members and Bernie's Mountain Dog Club of America, so we're also, you can also be a club member for the national club of your breed. Um, I find on Facebook a lot of club members are on those Facebook groups and they can lend a lot of help, but it's really cool in a regional club, you have those folks at your disposal, you have relationships with them, you know 
who they are and the advice that they're giving you and and that they're worth their salt otherwise it's just you know John Smith on Facebook telling you what their opinion is you're gonna get all sorts of opinions that way the uh, this uh, the other reason I suggest going to regional clubs to get reputable breeders is because those breeders sign a code of conduct for breeding that they will adhere to certain levels of care of quality of breeding to the standard of health clearances that are important to the national club because each regional club reports up to the national club so there's a quality of care there's a there's a standard of um of breeding that's super important within those clubs so that's kind of why i recommend those is where to start to find good breeders that are breeding for uh for health and temperament the other cool thing and biggest reason a lot of people join regional clubs is the activities. So there's parades, get-togethers, we've got, we have, we do burners and brews, we go to, we have lots of breweries out here. Um, we have workshops, we have walks that we coordinate, we have parades, we dr hook our dogs up to our carts and they draft through parades and and even and we have a cool Bavarian town that we uh, we do a, a cool Swiss day parade. Okay, you can't chew. <laughs> Gotta love puppies. Um, she's very helpful. <laughs> so it's it's a really cool place to do a lot of different uh, events. We have a burner camp out. Now some breed clubs do uh, more things geared towards the ring, like agility and obedience and the drafting. They do draft workshops and draft tests. Uh, they ho host a show every year, so you get to see all the beautiful burners doing the dog show thing. So there's many different things that we do within a club, um, but the general, there's most clubs have really fun activities year round, some more than others, and some are always looking for volunteers. The other thing that you can get is health clinics. So in, we talk about burner guard a lot and putting your health clearances in burner guard. Um, you can go to a regional club to get your dog's health, they'll have a health clinic every so often, and you can get your dog's health clearances. I imagine for different breeds, whether it's retrieving breeds, they'll have different events that are focused on what's important to that breed. So um, hunt trials, and like if they have a, a sight hound, it'll be lure coursing events, that type of thing. So it's a really fun place to get to know people that share your passion for the breed, that know a lot about the breed and can help you if you have questions. Like if, for example, if you don't have a supportive breeder, these are the type of places that you can go that you can talk to folks and they're, they're more than willing to help you out and, and answer questions and be there for you. Now, I have a lot of fun within my, my regional club, Bernie's Mountain Dog Club of Greater Seattle. I actually have my jacket on, we have a cool logo. Um, and we do a lot of things together. We get together and we have fun. We have fun with our dogs. We, we enjoy doing things with our dogs. I guess that's the overriding factor of what a regional club is. Now, because it has a code of conduct, because they have bylaws, there is a process to get into a regional club. So this usually requires either attending a meeting, possibly volunteering, sometimes not all the time, um, and then having a sponsor. And the sponsor part is where people get hung up at. They think, Stacy, I can't do it, they need a sponsor. I don't know two people in the club, I need to get two sponsors. So that's set up to where we can get to know you. You have to come to an event, get to know us, introduce yourself, and we're, you know, different clubs have different uh, welcoming strategies and how they work with new folks, but introduce yourself. We want more members, we want people to join and grow with our breed. And through coming to an event or two, you'll get to meet people that will be happy to sponsor you. And, and it's a well, it can be a welcoming environment. We welcome new people. Uh, you know, some clubs have different events throughout the year that are better to come to that for new, new folks than others. So call uh, the membership coordinator of your club and ask them. So for to how to find your regional club, is for Bernie's Mountain Dogs, we go to the national club site. So if you're any other breed, besides Bernie's Mountain Dogs, type in your breed, your full breed name, spelled correctly, and say put national club. And you'll get to the Poodle Club of America, or the Boxer Club of America, or you know the Shetland Sheepdog Club of America. Um, and on that site, you should get more information about the regional clubs. Or you can type in Seattle Bernie's Mountain Dog Club.
and you'll get the Bernese Mountain Dog Club of Greater Seattle's website. So reach out, talk to some folks. Most folks are really engaging and welcoming and want people to get involved. If you have any questions about regional clubs, national clubs, um, it, for me, when I'm looking at buying a puppy from a breeder, it is imperative to me that they're a regional club, uh, not only a national club member, that's the most part, but also a regional club member is important. It's some areas, like I said, don't have a lot of regional clubs, so it would depend on what region they're from, but they're involved. So make sure that they are involved, that they are caring about the well-being of the breed. That's what's important, and that's those are the people that you'll find at a regional club. I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, if you run into any challenges, um, please let me know. We, you know, most regional clubs are really excited to have new folks to volunteer, to be, participate in events. We've got a lot of cool things going on. So feel free to ask questions, be a squeaky wheel, and welcome to your regional clubs. Look them up today. Um, obviously with, with different things in the events of the world, different uh, events can or cannot go on during uh, COVID when I recorded this, but hopefully that will go away soon and we'll all be back to our normal events. Enjoy and have fun with your dog.